In the Afghan capital, Kabul, a Taliban suicide bomber hit a military convoy, killing three troops from the NATO-led international forces. Two US military personnel and a Polish soldier died. At least 13 civilians were injured in the attack, which took place near the US embassy on the main road to the airport. Most foreign combat forces are expected to withdraw from Afghanistan by the end of the year. In the Iraqi city of Fallujah, six people were killed and 22 injured in missile and mortar attacks on September the 15th, according to a hospital spokesman. The city was occupied by Islamic State militants in December 2013 and has come under fire from Iraqi government forces. But the Iraqi government blamed Islamic State for the latest attack. In Islamabad, elders from Pakistan's North Waziristan tribal region have met at a mosque to discuss the fate of nearly a million people displaced by fighting. The Pakistani army began a major offensive against Taliban fighters in North Waziristan in June. The meeting was chaired by the leader of Pakistan's largest Islamic religious party, which has close ties to the Taliban. In Kyrgyzstan, the annual tobacco harvest has begun, which is expected to generate $6 million in exports. The tobacco is mixed with ingredients such as water, oil and gum to produce nasvai, a chewing tobacco that has been used across Central Asia for centuries. In recent years, various countries in the region have sought to ban it, but only Turkmenistan has done so. In Podgorica, several dozen workers from a defunct metal works have protested for a second day in front of the Montenegrin government building. The workers from the Metalats Niksic factory are demanding back pay and redundancy payments. Ownership of the factory has changed twice in the last 10 years and it's now owned by a state investment fund. The 10th Eurasian Film Festival kicked off in Kazakhstan's largest city, Almaty. This year's festival includes a celebration of Kazakh director Sharkan Imanov, who was born a hundred years ago. The opening ceremony on September 15th was followed by a screening of his 1966 classic, Land of Fathers. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.